So, you, you fight him like you normally would. When the roulette wheel comes up, you want to press R, and then you want to press Q. And I'll explain why in a second here. No gimmick. So basically what happens is when you press the R button, it's kind of like an L strat where it it respawns you back over where the origin point is. But it removes the, the gimmick from the room. But sometimes the point of origin puts you in a wall. So, if you press Q, after you press R, it kills yourself, obviously. Now you know when you fight Biff, if you die before before the uh, project, you know, while the thing's rouletting, you get to live. So basically the R clears the gimmick, and the Q makes sure that when you enter the room, you'll be where, you, you know, you'll be at the proper entry point to the room. So it basically guarantees you a gimmickless room every time in every phase. Now, in certain circumstances, specifically phase two, you can use the fact that your point of origin is changed to insta win the room. And I'll show you. I'll show you this next thing. So we ran. So basically, what we did. We, by we I mean fate. I had fate look at all the look at all the rooms that Biff can give you on a given stage. And if you were to overlay all of those rooms on top of each other, would there be any spot where if you like L strated to that spot that you would be safe in every room? Effectively, you know, using R to skip. So you would not only get the room without the gimmick, but you would potentially get that room in a spot where there's no wall or spike allowing you to skip ahead. Now, for phases one and three, it doesn't really seem to be viable because there's no spot where you can really get and have consistent survivability. But on phase two, if you overlay all the rooms on top of each other, and we think there's, what, five rooms you can get? On four out of the five rooms... The bottom left corner is not lethal. So, like, I didn't hit Q, but since I was in the bottom left corner, it put me here. But on, like, every room, you could hit this button and spawn here at this point and be alive. Except, um, enjoy the game, I think. Puts you inside of a wall. But, if you get Heaven Trap... It's an instant win because the exit is on this exact spot. So on Heaven Trap, it's an instant win. On Novelty, it's a skip. You'll skip all the drops. On Catharsis and uh, the other one, I can't remember what the other one is. It's just like normal because you always enter here. And on Enjoy the Game, it's lethal. So you have an 80% chance of it not killing you and a 20% chance of an instant win, and a 20% chance of a skip. So there's only a 1 in 5 chance that doing that will kill you, and there's a 40% chance that it's some sort of advantage, if that makes any sense. And as usual, the room has no gimmick because of the R button. So pretty much, the days of running this game and getting trolled by Biff's RNG on the rooms is over. You will never run this game ever again with this glitch and have to worry about the combination that Biff gives you. Of course, you still have to be able to platform the room and not screw it up. But, barring that, you have a fair chance to win every single time.
and in a rare instance, get an automatic win. Or a very light skip. Biff has been neutered. This glitch was discovered when a player accidentally pressed R during the roulette and realized that his his gimmick was wiped from the room. But, unfortunately, he realized that when he did that, he was stuck in a wall. And when this was told to Fate, Fate figured out that you could press Q after R to force a respawn, hence putting your character always at the entry position of the room without the gimmick active. And this is your new Biff glitch that pretty much puts this game up for grabs for anybody who wants to try to run it, who can platform reasonably well. Because no longer will you have to fear having your run destroyed by Biff. So I press R, Q, no inverted controls at all, even though that's what I rolled. And I just get a standard 3200 bin. Of course, you remove the possibility in Phase 3 of ever getting a 3200 min low gravity cheese win. But I think the trade-off is more than worth it because you will always get a room that you can beat. And that is your Biff Glitch.